Sunday, 7, 6 Central. ABC presents a spectacular retelling of a classic fairy tale. My doll, she'll be history. Carol Burnett and Tracy Ullman. <laughs> Once Upon a Mattress, Sunday, 7, 6 Central, on the wonderful world of Disney, only on ABC. They can't dribble. They can't shoot. Please welcome your new head coach. But now, they can't lose. We'll work on it. It's playing basketball, baby. Rebound on DVD Tuesday. Give me some shake and bake, baby. Oh. Rated PG. Celebrate Walt Disney Pictures and Walden Media's presentation of The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. You can get a pop-up storybook and an out-of-this-world action figure in every McDonald's Happy Meal. Introducing an all-new original Scooby-Doo movie. And this time, Scooby travels to Egypt to become a great warrior, a hunter, and a pretty good dancer. You can own the new original movie Scooby-Doo and Where's My Mummy, now on DVD. Scooby-Doo! From all of us here at ABC7, have a great holiday. Get the buzz on that funky, fresh fly girl. The buzz on Maggie is next on ABC Kids. On the next Power Rangers Space Patrol Delta, the team is visited by Rangers past. Gotta let us in on this. If anything happens to you in this time, the results could be catastrophic. No more Power Rangers. The others need us now. You guys ready? Dino Thunder! SPD! Emergency! Catch a new to ABC Kids episode of Power Rangers Space Patrol Delta today on ABC. Special holiday presentation. The most beloved family movie of all time. These are a Celebrate the 40th anniversary of The Sound of Music tonight, 8, 7 Central, only on ABC. This Christmas. Whoa! <gasps> Tire swing, not ready! There are a dozen reasons to celebrate. Hey, Murta! This is our year! <laughs> Cheaper by the dozen two. Rated PG. The bakers are definitely back. Wednesday. There's Nick. Go talk to him. Wait, Fast Blue Mini is a must. Try Preppy. Wait, girly. No. Gator. Now go blonde. Nice. The power to live your dream is in your hands. Introducing the Dream Life game. First, create a dream you. Then go through a dream school year. Make friends, go cool places. You decide what you're doing and when. Let's play for soccer or basketball. Dream Life, the power to live your dream. Batteries not included. Hey, get out of there! The Buzz on Maggie is back on ABC Kids. You are one awesome dribbler. You're burning me like toast. Yeah, that's because I'm on fire. Uh, uh, oh boy, you blew right past me. Uh. Oh. Wow, working on your trick shots already? Snoopy, you are going to be a star in no time. You think I'm good enough to go pro? I'm just saying, you should really start working on your autograph. Ooh. <laughs> Now that I'm retired.
tired and out of shape, I use Double Action Medicated Wing Wax. If it's good enough for my wings, it's good enough for yours. <sighs> hey, Aldrin, how was fly ball practice? Eh, boring. They say practice makes perfect, but I'm already perfect, so why do I even go? Ugh. So, what are you doing with my bugs get ball? Hoping my greatness will rub off on you? No, Maggie and I were playing. I'm going to be a pro bugs at ball star. Oh, really? I'd be happy to give you a lesson. Okay, Pupert. Uh, time to hit the showers. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Aldrin, you don't understand. Oh, but I do. Here are the teams. Me versus you, little man. You can go first. Gee, thanks. Your ball. Good game, but, uh, <laughs> hey, let's not kid ourselves. Guess, uh, I was a little off my game. It's not your fault, Pupie. Okay, then. Pick me up for dinner. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like a glass of refreshing, chunky old milk. Right, Mr. Guns? <gasps> no, no, don't get upset. Daddy loves you both the same. Why'd you have to whoop up on Pupert like that? You think that was fun for him? Of course not. He lost. I'll tell you who had fun. Me, the winner. But you're three times his size. Only losers make excuses. But isn't the point of sports to go out and have fun? <laughs> Maggie, the phrase, go out there and have fun, is what coaches tell the losers of the world. Winners like me are told to go out there and crush those losers. It's not like losers always lose. Oh, but they do. Take Pupert, for example. Nobody would be more proud, or amazed, than me if he ever outdid me at anything. But he never will. It's the way things are. I didn't ask to be this incredible. I just am. Listen, winner. I bet Pupert could beat you at something. Um, that's hysterical and all, but I could beat Captain Klutz at any game, anytime, anywhere. Oh, yeah? Well, you're on. Great. I love being on. How you doing there, buddy? Maggie, is that you? Sounds like you're ready for a rematch. A rematch? Oh, no, no, no. Not a bug skip ball, but I told Aldrin you could beat him at something. We just have to find what that something is. Can I curl up in a ball and cry first? Of course. Fly like an eagle, go to the sky. Victory is yours. You joke, but it's okay. Tomorrow is another day. Fly from disgrace. You really blew the race. If I were you, I'd quit to save some face. You're a loser in every yes. way. I can't believe you lost in everything. I mean, he beat you at Pubert Trivia. Well, if I'm going to receive a totally thorough bug whooping, I'm sure glad it came from my big brother. Come on, where's the fight? There has to be one thing we, I mean you, can beat him at. Hmm, I'm really good at having fun. Huh, you're good at having fun. Well then, you'll just need to have more fun than Aldrin. You're challenging me to bug skitball? Please. We're not playing bug skitball, my friend. We're playing fun ball. Fun ball? Yes, fun ball. Wait, I've never heard of fun ball before. I'm sorry, was that an excuse? And I thought only losers make excuses. Oh, would you rather play excuse ball? Here's the official fun ball rule book. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Thanks for calling the big game today, guys. Here are your official fun ball announcer hats. And yes, you have to wear them. Remember, we're here to have fun! Hi, everybody, and a pleasant afternoon to you. Today's matchup is a classic. Brother versus brother. Winner versus... 
really enthusiastic guy. And the name of the game is Fun Ball! That's right, Mr. Basket. Maggie spent all night coming up with this game, which is tailor-made to Pupert's ear. Tough to imagine an all-star like Aldrin losing at anything. But then again, if there's one thing Pupert can do, it's have fun. Aldrin's not fun, you're fun. You're gonna run fun circles around that unfun fella. You hear me, brother? Yeah! Okay, Aldrin, try not to hurt Pupert. Pupert, try not to get hurt. All righty, let the fun begin. Let's go, Pupi. You can take him. The old pinata routine. Olay! for Pupert's fun play, and only two for Aldrin's boring basket. Is that a grandpa? Uh oh, it's Pupert scoring another ten points. But look at Aldrin dunking it like a pro. Chalk up another point for my boy. my thorax handed to me by my kid brother. What is going on here? Are you letting him win on purpose? No, it's this game. It's crazy. I'm out there stealing and dunking and I'm getting squashed like I hit a windshield. Hubert, you rock. Well, I'm sure having fun out there. Not as much fun as we'll have once we've beaten Aldrin. I'll tell you that. I gotta admit, little buddy, you're off to a stellar start. Put her there. Okay. Ah! Oh, I've been joy blood. Count it! That's 12 biggins for me. Hey, Max, this ain't so tough once you get the hang of it. Aldrin ties the game. What an unbelievable comeback. Only 10 seconds left and the score is high. What's going on out there? I thought you said you were good at having fun. Yeah, I guess Aldrin's pretty good at it, too. That's loser talk. You think fun is all fun in games? You better dig down for every bit of fun you've got left before I reach down and yank it out myself. <laughs> fun, now. Louder. Loser. <laughs> Play accordion funner than that. <laughs> oh, you? Yeah. No! <laughs> what? Yes! Amazing! They each only get ten points. Still all tied with only five seconds left in the game. Get the ball, Hubert. What do you think I'm trying? I said, get the ball. Five, four, three. Forget it. This isn't fun anymore. Two. Maggie will be right back on ABC Kids. 
When Dad gets snowed in at the Tipton, oh! how far will Cody go to get his parents back under the mistletoe? Tell us about that moment where your eyes first met. My eyes were trying to meet the drummers, but your father kept getting in the way. Find out in a new to ABC Kids episode of The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, today on ABC. Zack saw Ravens on every day on Disney Channel. And that means more smooth moves. We are too foxy, Mama. You don't want to mess with More manly men and more Eddie being Eddie. Oh, <laughs> and of course, more totally ridiculous schemes that almost never work. Strawberry, blueberry, watermelon. Oh, new triple treat from Bubble Tape. Six feet of gum, six feet of fun. Everybody ready. The Emperor found a new groove. I'm nice now. Now it's Kronk's turn. No way. Way. In a story about friendship, adventure, <laughs> and being true to your groove. Kronk's new groove, rated G, now on Disney DVD. With Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup, your mouth will be jumping. <laughs> Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Mm -mm, good. Look who's dropping in for the holidays. Make your own Frosty the Snowman at Build-A-Bear Workshop. You can pick up your own Frosty the Snowman DVD. Sunday, 7, 6 Central. ABC presents a spectacular retelling of a classic fairy tale. My doll, she'll be history. Carol Burnett and Tracy Ullman. <laughs> Once Upon a Mattress. Sunday, 7, 6 Central on the wonderful world of Disney, only on ABC. We're back hey. with more of the Buzz on Maggie on ABC Kids. Check out this color! This would make a fantabulous sheet of lip gloss. That should be our next science project. Maggie and Raina's luscious lips. Uh-oh. Before you plan your next big project together, you may want to take a look at your grades. See? That's a third C this term. My parents are going to be so mad. Unless I can convince them that C stands for, see, I got it right. Another C, and I'll be seeing you girls in summer school. <laughs> Miss Wingston is a totally hard grader. I'm sure everyone else got C's, too. Yes, another A. We're rolling in them, Wendell. High five. Ooh. We should celebrate, Eugene. Oh, let's stay home Saturday night, put on our astronaut costumes, and continue our debate on interplanetary physics. Over a delicious mug of herbal tea? Oh, you are bad. High five. Ew. <laughs> okay, so we're not like the brainy Beetle Twins over there. But Mrs. Winston does grade us unfairly. I mean, we have had some awesome projects. Remember our unbelievably fantastic presentation on the mysteries of electricity? Ta-da! And our dazzling exhibition on gravity. <laughs> Hello! What about our incredibly mind-blowing time machine? We did it! We have just returned from the future, and we have big news! I'm gonna be a famous rock star. Reyna's gonna be filthy rich. And Dawn, you should really watch those Between Meal Snacks. Ta-da! Oh, who are we kidding? We're scientifically challenged. See, I got it right! I gave it a shot. Well, we're not mad at you, Maggie, dear. We're just disappointed. Well, I'm kind of mad. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad, but science is really hard. And so totally boring. What? But mostly really hard. Well, I don't know what else we can do to help you, dear. We've bought you books. We got you a tutor. Well, heck, we even hired a motivational speaker. You can do it, Maggie. Success is just around the corner. And he's still here. There's only one thing left to do. Around me. Give you cash. Huh? See this? It's all yours. As soon as you bring home an A. <laughs> so you're saying all I have to do is get an A on my next science project and I get all of that major moolah? Yep. Isn't that kind of like bribery? No, it's exactly like bribery. Just making sure we're all on the same page. And remember, class, you have another assignment due next week. The Science Super Project. 
this one makes up half of your final grade. So choose your projects and your partners wisely. Maggie, what are we going to do? If we're partners again, we're bound to get another C. Yeah, about that. Listen, this is really hard, but, well, I'm just afraid if we end up in summer school, we might blame each other, and it could ruin our friendship. And, of course, you got that cash on the line. Oh, yeah, that too. Anyway, that's why we need new partners. Like who? I don't know, but if we want A's, we're gonna have to do something drastic, like... Oh, how about we present an in-depth report on how us beetles molt, shedding our exoskeletons, thus becoming men? Please, save it for health class. How about tracing the phases of the moon versus their barometric pressures, hmm? Like breaking up the beetles. Oh, yeah, I'm right there with you, fly friend. But how in that dump will we ever get them to do their science super project with us? I don't know. We're going to need a plan, a complex, intricate plan. Something they'll never see coming. All right, that's it. We'll be missing you. Wait, little pretty girls are talking to us. And we haven't even molted yet. <laughs> this is going to be easier than we thought. Want to be our science partners? Did Dimitri Mendeleev develop the periodic table? Huh? That would be a yes. So you see, the moss combines with the photosynthetic pigment of the chlorophyll, thus creating a <laughs> heliotrope. Yes, Eugene. That seems to check out. My, my, my. Look at our little scientists. Hard at work. Is that my house plant? Yeah, Eugene and I are combining the photogenic piglet of Cora and Phil, thus creating our helium rope. Huh? Well, my stars. I knew you could do it, Maggie. Would you get out of here already? Be strong, be strong. Failure's just success upside down. We'll let you geniuses get back to work. Told you, honey. Cash is king. Maybe we should go over these projects one more time, just to be sure that you gals really understand them. That's one idea. Or you and Eugene could just keep on working while Raina and I fix you a snack in the kitchen. It's hard to get an A on an empty stomach. What do you say? Do mycoplasma self-replicate? Why can't you just say yes? Whew. Nice work, everyone. Okay, Maggie, take five. We'll be back on ABC Kids. Next Saturday, get ready to deck those halls with the ABC Kids Jolly Holiday Bash. We're wrapping up your favorite shows for a festive morning of fun. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. It's ABC Kids Jolly Holiday Bash. Next Saturday on ABC. Take one step back from everything. We could walk together. We could step into the sun. They can't shoot. Please welcome your new head coach. But now, they can't lose. We'll work on it. We're playing basketball, baby. Rebound on DVD Tuesday. Give me some shake and bake, baby. Oh. Rated PG. With Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup, your mouth will be jumping. Cool. Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. Oh, <gasps> good. Beyond this door lies a world unlike any you've ever seen. Hey, boy. I ain't gonna smell it if that's what you want. And an adventure you could never imagine. Are you prepared for what awaits you? The Chronicles of Narnia. Rated PG. Now playing. That's it? New dogs, new tricks. Only on Game Boy Advance. Rated everyone. I was thinking more like a triple cheeseburger. Max, you're in lemonade. It's tart and it's sweet and it's sweet and it's tart. It just has it all, and I chew it all the time, all the time. Let me tell you nonstop. Oh yes, and I mention I chew it all the time. And when I'm not blowing bubbles, I'm thinking about blowing bubbles. Hot kind of bubble. Introducing an all-new original Scooby-Doo movie. At this time, Scooby travels to Egypt to become a great warrior, a hunter, and a pretty good dancer. You can own the new original movie Scooby-Doo and Where's My Mummy now on DVD. Scooby-Doo. Phil of the Future is totally awesome fun. Catch Phil of the Future today on ABC Kids. Places, everyone. Where's Maggie? Oh, there she is. Cool. We're back on ABC Kids. Rena, just 
think tomorrow at this time we'll be A students? I know. It's like our whole lives are about to change. On us. Smart and kind. It's strange, but knowing that we're getting an A actually makes me feel smarter. You know, Reyna, we could get an A tomorrow like any old smarty. Or we can get an A with style. Maggie, I thought that money was the after you got an A. Technically, yes. But with Wendell and Eugene on our team, that A is ours. But think about it. Eugene and Wendell are doing all the work. The least we can do is look fabulous. You know, you're right. We practically owe it to them. That's what I'm saying. We're getting an A, Reyna. This may never happen again. Are you sure about this? Is the speed of light faster than the speed of sound? I don't know. Me neither. Let's go shopping. Maggie, don't you feel a little guilty about leaving Eugene and Wendell to finish the projects on their own? Reyna, the projects are only a small aspect of the presentation. We can't just talk the talk. We have to walk the walk. In these fabulous new shoes. What do you think, Maggie? I'd say Rena's about to get her A on. You know it, girl! <laughs> wow, Eugene, we've really outdone ourselves, haven't we? Oh, I guess so. Are you okay? You don't look so good. This looks very interesting. Maggie, why don't you tell the class all about it? And steal all the glory from my partner? Never. After you, Eugene. <laughs> He's so excited about the project, he can barely speak. <laughs> It's showtime, Eugene. Suck it up. This happens once in every young beetle's life. I had no idea it would be today. You're not revolting. I mean, I'd lose the unibrow, but other than that... <laughs> okay, I don't know what moping is, but how about you do it on your own time? Is everything all right? Perfecto. But, uh, hey, just for kicks, why don't Rena and Wendell give their presentation first? <laughs> okay, thanks, boy. Listen, pain, more it. Somebody get Nurse Hatchison! All right, everyone. Molting is nothing to worry about. Eugene and Wendell are simply shedding their exoskeletons. It's a natural, beautiful process. It is just so remarkable. I wish the entire school could see this. Oh, that's nasty. And poorly timed. Come on, Eugene. It's our moment to shine. Tell Miss Winston what we've created here. Ah, uh, Maggie? Sure, yeah, we'll be right with you. Let's go, Eugene. Tick tock. Oh, I'm molting. Molting. Oh, what a world. What a world. Maggie? Since your partner's a little busy right now, why don't you tell us about your project? Uh. Okay. <laughs> we worked really hard on this here, whatchamacallit, to make sure it does all the cool stuff in the jiggerous and, as you can tell, it clearly proves the theory of thingamabobbity. Rena, they're not buying this. Do something. <laughs> it's had a... Hey, guys. Everyone feeling better? The cesium have an atomic weight of 75. Oh, that's great. We were so worried. Actually, that was a no. I am so never going to get you guys. Look, we just wanted to say we're sorry for messing up your presentations. It's okay, Maggie. I hear college is overrated. Oh, don't worry about that. We've explained everything to Mrs. Wingston, and you're both getting A's. Wow. Thanks. Well, what about you guys? Well, let's just say Rain and I will be doing a lot of extra credit. Experiment test subjects. At least with the money we make, we can pay my parents back. With our new device, we can rotate flies at higher speeds without their wings ripping out. We hope. Look out! The Jumbotron's gone cuckoo! The 
Annabelle Plaza and Maggie will be back on ABC Kids. Celebrate Walt Disney Pictures and Walden Media's presentation of The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. You can get a pop-up storybook and an out-of-this-world action figure and every McDonald's Happy Meal. Hey, look at me. Here's sit. Roll over. Yeah, I can do down. Oh, soccer. New dogs, new tricks. Only on Game Boy Advance. Rated everyone. Look who's dropping in for the holidays. Make your own Frosty the Snowman at Build-A-Bear Workshop. You can pick up your own Frosty the Snowman DVD. I'm Tim Brand wishing you and yours a very happy holiday. Cheer hard, cheer loud. Let's hear it for the Proud family. Coming up next on ABC Kids. Goggles. Let's do it. Next Saturday, get your cheer and gear. Because it's time to deck the halls with the ABC Kids Jolly Holiday Bash. Ha uh ha. -huh. We are so there. We're wrapping up your favorite shows for a oh, best of morning full of fun. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. So grab your garlands and get ready for the ABC Kids Jolly Holiday Bash. Next Saturday on ABC.